Director John Carpenter, the creative force behind such box office bonanzas as Halloween, The Fog, Escape from New York, and Christine, on location in Tennessee with his latest film from Columbia Pictures, an action-adventure-filled romance called Starman. Action! The film stars Jeff Bridges and Karen Allen and marks a change from the horror and suspense genre for director Carpenter. You really are some kind of Martian or something, aren't you? What do you want here? What are you doing? What do you want with me? Where are you taking me? Why do you look so much like Scott? I can't get no satisfaction. I've done a lot of thrillers and suspense and horror films. I've also done uh, other kinds of films. I did a, a three-hour um, movie about Elvis Presley for television. And so I feel like my work has a kind of a broad range to it. I, I also feel like I've been moving slowly uh, into different areas, and Starman is just another step towards a more dramatic film. It has comedy and adventure and science fiction, so it's things that I'm used to. Well, there are elements in the love story that we're familiar with. Uh, it happened one night, if the film with the Clark Gable and Claudette Colbert comes to mind, and uh, it, it has uh, some of the elements of that in that uh, it's, it's about two people who are at odds with each other in the beginning of the film, and then after they have a journey together, uh, they discover that they're in love with each other. Well, it's, a, it's sort of a love story between an alien and a, a human woman. Um, I sort of have jokingly called it Close Encounters of the Fourth Kind, <laughs> or Fifth Kind, or I don't know what you'd call it. Love Story of the Third Kind. My favorite love story has always been The Graduate. That's actually practically my favorite picture. It's a terrific film. And I think there are probably some similarities here in that, uh, you know, when uh, Dustin Hoffman first meets Catherine Ross, he doesn't like her. And the uh, same is pretty well true here. When, when Karen's character first meets uh, the star man, you know, she's terrified of the guy. Charles Martin Smith, who spent two years in the Arctic wilderness filming Never Cry Wolf, plays Sherman, a government agent sympathetic to Starman and effusive in his praise for actor Bridges. This is Charlie Martin Smith. Getting a camera lesson yes. from Jeffrey Widelux Bridges. He plays Mark Sherman. That's right. Uh, this man is an alien as only an alien can be played. I think Jeff had the most difficult role in the film because he had to portray a super intelligent alien cloned in a human body who really doesn't understand the uh, traditions or the, the niceties of Earth, and yet he's incredibly intelligent. So he had to get across that, plus kind of being a dummy at the same time. Yeah, my little baby says she wants to be a doctor. I don't know. Cause an arm and a leg to raise up kids these days. An arm and a leg? Bread, eat it, money, and lots of it. Usually you're trying to be very natural and, you know, uh, uh, be at home in your body. And this is the antithesis of that. This here called for uh, being, feeling uh, uneasy in your body and like it was a strange uh, ride almost, being inside a, a human body. It's certainly a situation I've never been in, never will be in. I've never known anyone who is in that situation. So I have nothing to go on except what I imagine I might do or feel or or how I might behave in that situation. Uh, honey moon is what you call it when two people first get married and they go off together after they've fallen in love. You find love. Love is, um, it's when you care, 
more for someone else than you do for yourself. But it's not just that, it's... It's when someone is a part of you. Don't get the idea Starman is only a love story. It also has its share of humor. Understand? Can't get her out, huh? Gas. Yeah, well, I know just how she feels. <laughs> Starman isn't a special effects film, although it does have explosions, car crashes, and fires, all orchestrated by special effects coordinator Roy Arbogast. The hardest thing we're doing is the, the forest fire. Not, it wouldn't normally be, but we're in a tropical, almost a tropical forest, and we've had weeks of rain, and it's, uh, it's a big fire, about six acres, and it's just, it just real hard to maintain the fire. He also had to engineer spectacular effects like this. Action! Fire! Amidst the explosions, the adventure, the action, and the love scenes was the steadying influence and guiding touch of director Carpenter. I think one of the most important things uh, that a director can do is create a sort of a general atmosphere that you work under. And uh, all the shows that I've done, it seems to be with however the director is, everybody else sort of, you know, takes their cue from, from him. And he and John creates a very kind of light uh, feeling like you know, this is doesn't have to be heavy work this can be fun and we can uh, have a good time and, and do that and that uh, again I think that that uh, makes for uh, create you know creative atmosphere he's um, the kind of director who is a good collaborator in the sense that he he keeps you have a sense he knows what he is doing and what he wants to do with the story and with the characters but he's also very, very open-minded, and that's something very special about him. Movie making is something special, but many times, not an easy task. Starman was a difficult film logistically because we had to shoot all across country in very bad weather and in, in, in very difficult conditions. I think that was the most difficult thing about it was the shooting schedule was such that we were out during the spring all over the country and first it would be hot weather then cold weather then rain and with a giant company of people moving it was very difficult the logistical nightmare however was offset by the real meaning of starman what's it like up there it is beautiful not like this but it is beautiful there is only one language one law one people there is no war, no hunger. The strong do not victimize the helpless. We are very civilized, but we have lost something, I think. You are all so much alive, all so different. I will miss the cooks and the singing and the dancing and the eating. I think that if audiences go to see the film, they will be entertained, they'll laugh, they'll uh, be moved by it. I think the way I'd like an audience to react to Starman is to have a real good time. One of the interesting things about the film and why I was attracted to it in the first place was that you have a very intimate love story going on, uh, taking place in this huge canvas of uh, really spectacular proportions. and. Uh, you have special effects and uh, all this sort of thing, but basically, it's a love story. 
tell me again how to say goodbye. Kiss me. And tell me you love me. I love you. I'm never gonna see you again in my life.